So we're in Santa Rosa di Lima, just 20 minutes north of where we were earlier in Guanajuato. And of course we're now up the mountains, really quiet and lots of little farms around. And this is where we are staying, and it's number 43. And as you can see, they have got lovely murals on the outside of their house, as well as on the inside, and out throughout the garden patio areas. Hi guys, we've arrived in Santa Rosa de Lima and we're here for five nights, six days and uh, this is the farmhouse that we've just arrived in. Laura's going to give you a quick look around. Yep, so we're in this beautiful farmhouse and the lady said we're welcome to film and she has it looking absolutely beautiful. She and her husband take in stray dogs street dogs um obviously we knew that before we came they have about nine dogs i think little ones large ones they've even got a scottish terrier <laughs> uh, chihuahuas and so on so um that's lovely it, it really it's really so colorful it's beautiful and this is the main living room I thought this was so funny, a donkey looks like he's grinning, showing his teeth. So, she brought me this to look at. How cute is that? <laughs> a couple getting married. Mariachis in the background there. <laughs> And they're all going across there into the restaurant. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anything like that. It's another one. This time, a funeral procession. Dear, unfortunately, he's going there. It's just so quaint and it's lovely how so many of the buildings here they will have murals and art, wall art. And we might even see some donkeys or horses when we're out and about here. So our hostess is just showing us these dolls. Their heads are made out of eggs. See, eggs! Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> see? They're beautiful. Thank you. And the paper mache. Paper mache, is correct. Wow. It's right. This doll here made it a paper mache. Oh, Gosh. So here we are with our lovely host and hostess, Thank you. and they have agreed to answer some questions for our video blog. So please tell our friends your names. First, uh, sorry for our English, but <laughs> my, my name is Gabriel, Flochelo Gabriel Granados Martinez. My name is Giovanna. <laughs> and Gabriel and Joanna are married and they own this beautiful property mm -hmm. and um, they have guests coming to stay here. So please um, tell us how many um, 
do you have many European guests, American guests, Canadian guests who come here? Uh, the, the most people who, who visit, visit us uh, are Mexicans, mm -hmm. uh, only one American people, mm -hmm. but uh, generally it's, uh, they are Mexicans from the different parts of the country, but here. Okay. Yeah. So we are actually the first non-Mexicans who have come here yeah, first yeah, European yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Actually, <laughs> this is <laughs> yes. and we are very happy. Happy, yeah, for your work. Um, I can in say cataratas. for you stay. Yes. You stay in, in our house, your house. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This couple have been so friendly, so hospitable. They're saying this is your house, and yeah, really. And their dogs are just lovely. <laughs> if you love dogs, you would love it here. Yeah, we love dogs. And we, we have twelve dogs. <laughs> we adopt. All are adopted. And they're all adopted. They're all. They were all out on the streets, and they they brought them in and and made them um, welcome here as their home. So it's it's yeah. lovely. Lovely to do that. <laughs> thank you, nice. thank you. Uh, their names are uh, Rolando, René, Neron, Neron Lulu, Eva, um, Eva, Leonora, Leonora, Goliath, Rosendo, Rosendo, Rufina y Romina. Rufina y Romina. <laughs> chin -chi. Chin -chi. Chin -chi. Chin -chi. Well done. Chin -chi. Chin -chi. Chin -chi. Chin -chi. <laughs> And you know, it's, it's been lovely staying here and we, we are honoured to be your first European guests. And um, this couple were so we really touched because they gave us a gift. Um, you know, how often do your host and hostess give you a gift for being in their home? And we gave them a gift and it was such an appropriate gift, we didn't realise quite how appropriate because it was Scottish shortbread and on the tin there's a picture of two wee Scotty dogs and they have a Scotty <laughs> dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is the this was the, the perfect the perfect gift for us. Thank you very much. So there we are. Best. Imagine that, it was lovely. And um, yeah, it's very interesting to hear that this area um, is an area where Mexicans come to vacation and holiday away from the city, beautiful rural village countryside, donkeys, you know, um, so we feel very privileged to come to an area where Mexicans like to come uh, yeah. on, on vacation, that makes it even more special. Yeah, the, uh, I think yeah. that they like to uh, to relax here, mm -hmm. because he, uh, this is a little city, uh, uh, far really? from the from the Guanajuato city, and uh, it's quiet. If you can see, it's yeah. a, a, a place when where you no a place where you can relax mm -hmm. and take. A, People a is friendly. Operation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People is friendly. Yeah. And you can eat. Um, tacos. Tacos. <laughs> very good tacos. Yes. Yeah. Many tacos. Uh, but muy rica. Es como casera. The, the delicious. The meat delicious food. Are, delicious food. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. So how we can say like uh, uh, casero something uh, like when the when the you make food in your home, how do you say homemade? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fresh. Yeah. Pretty. The tortillas all are uh, a mano. They're all fresh. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. We've been around lots of little cafes or the restaurants or there's one hotel. Everywhere you go, it's fresh. Uh, food, it's delicious food. We've never had a bad meal here, okay. and and you know if we don't like people who don't like tackles, that there's there are hamburgers, yeah. hot dogs, and salads, you know, and French things, yeah. fries, <laughs> salads. You know, and it's absolutely all of it is delicious. To be honest, it really is. I have not had a meal that I have not liked. Uh, so really, yeah, it's beautiful, and um, the people are so friendly. Yeah. As well. Yeah, yeah. Our, our, how is vecinos? Uh, vecinos. Oh, yes. No, no. Uh, vecinos. Neighbors. Neighbors. Neighbors are very 
friendly? Very okay. friendly persons. Very, Good. very friendly persons. They receive us, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, but they are so... Who would hurt? With good care. Okay, yeah. that's lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely persons. Yeah, and they have dogs too. Yeah. When and your dogs talk to their dog across <laughs> the face. <laughs> All the time. All the time. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's fantastic, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you to, to be so hospitable, so friendly towards us, and to agree to do this YouTube video um, oh. for us. So we thank you very, very much. It's, it's perfect for us. You're welcome, and we will be very grateful if you can if you can come back to to, to your house. Sure. That's uh, lovely. Fantastic. We will, we will come back. We're, we're sure that this so far is just it's been perfect. You know, beautiful. Um, and we, we're sure we will come back and we will tell our friends on YouTube how to, to yeah. find you. Oh, thank you. Maybe thank you will you. get some more European, more Scottish guests. Maybe you will get some American, Canadian. I have a lot of American friends on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank maybe you. some of them will come. Thank okay, you. okay. The name of the house is Cataratas. The name? The name of the, the house. house. Yeah. It's Cataratas because uh, movie or Disney? The mm -hmm. Up movie? Up. We, we call yeah. it the house Cataratas El Paraíso uh -huh. uh, with the concept of the movie. Uh, oh, the right, up, okay. The Up movie. Yep, the cartoon one. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, was that about a man? Yeah, no, an old man and a boy that and a balloon in the, the house. Movie? Yeah. Oh, flew. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so we're going on a hot air balloon trip here in a few days' time. Okay. So we we're, we're doing that in San Miguel. San, in San Miguel. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. okay. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's good. Cataratas is it's your home. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, so much guys. It's, it's been a pleasure. Making it a perfect time for us. It's been lovely and lovely to meet you both as well. Oh, uh, we we are very uh, happy for your visit with us. <laughs> Fantastic. Gracias, mon amigos. Yeah. Ah, gracias. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> bye bye then. <laughs> well, here we are at our Airbnb in Santa Rosa de Lima, and this is the view from when you come in the gate. We have some doggy pals, as you can see. And they're very, very friendly. So this is the view from the one of the patios. There's an Arichawala city. This one's a wee bit shy. And there's the lovely view. Hello, are you guys coming to say hello? And even a Scotty dog. Scottish Terrier. Quite fun. This is the view from our lower patio down into the garden. There's lots of nice places to go to sit out the sun if you want. area and a little chalet and another doggy pal. So we've just been shown around the beautiful house and garden. Um, there's something to look everywhere. Everywhere there's something to look around this garden and our bedroom and toilet is in this beautiful little building at the bottom of the garden and it's really so quaint
it's just gorgeous. And look at the roof. So you saw this online, Paul? Uh -huh. I didn't see it at all, so it was a surprise for me. I didn't know. It was just so quaint and pretty. Um, the, the lady really like, loves arty things and it's really colourful everywhere. Her kitchen is gorgeous, she just showed us her kitchen. So picturesque. And um, we'll show you around the garden later. As soon as we got to the airport, actually when we arrived and uh, passed by the, the shops there, we noticed these and they're everywhere, dioramas. So basically just little boxes um, with characters in them that, that portray a certain theme or a certain drama. Uh, you know, as you can see, you've got the mixture of Catholicism and the Katrina and the skeletons and all of that stuff that we'll be talking a little about maybe on, on Sunday towards the end of, of our tour um, when we go to the church in Querataro. Just another view of the room. And as I said, leads out onto an exquisite garden. It's a large garden, but there's lots of little areas in it like that. Just like a separate little garden in their own right. Absolutely lovely. And this is the quaint little shower room. I just love the sinks. We have here. Gorgeous. We will be visiting a pottery uh, shop when we're here where they actually do make the, the local pottery. Beautiful colours again. So um, you might be wondering how much is this costing? It's about 22 UK pounds a night, which is extraordinary. Um, as I said earlier, you would pay that in the UK for a really cheap travel lodge, which would be very basic. Certainly nothing as pretty as this. So we passed by this the other day and I was a bit reluctant to film too closely just because well, it's someone's property and I don't want to be rude, but we spoke to the lady just now, very fr friendly. She had a little boy there and um, she showed us the tiled mosaics. She pointed out features on them. Um, so we're going to have a little closer look now. So we can hear music and uh, Paul reckons it's a Zumba class taking place. So at the top of the painting we have the actual church that is just beside us just beside us here in Santa Rosa, Guanajuato and um, obviously it's, when they paint these obviously they're, they're full of historical significance and de depictions so just going down, hope, hoping you can see this okay and you have various scenes here. Yeah this one's got the church, people in the church, it's got the Aztecs, it's got cowboys, it's got a reference to Day of the Dead and it's got tourists watching, so it's uh, very much encompassing what's happening in the town present day as well. Yeah. There's a good historical reference as well. It is. It's that. Obviously depicting the, the Catholicism that is practised here. Sorry about all the traffic going by. And here's another one. It's an independence celebration festival day pictured. Everybody's Viva Mexico, the band's there, soldiers are there, people are dressed up in national colours.
And, you know, I was thinking all, th all down through history, of course, peoples and cultures have always um, used art as a way of, of retaining uh, historical information and, and depicting scenes of, of the culture, um, whether it be cave art and so on. And um, in Mexico, obviously, they do it with... Um, try to get a wee bit closer. These beautiful tiles. Um, actually, we, went, we had to stop filming for a moment there. It was an army truck that went by, but it was not uh, full of the military. It was just obviously an army truck people had bought and um, used as their own vehicle. But we have saw, we did see an army truck in Guanajuato full of soldiers. This is one of the well-known potteries in the area where they actually produce a lot of the pottery that's well-known around here. So here's a view from the restaurant Car Park. That's the other side of the town and you can go that way right over there and there is the large water reservoir that people go to see. So day three in Santa Rosa de Lima and lots of guys are out cutting the grass as you maybe can hear and there's a lovely bougainvillea just like Spain those plants are everywhere here in Mexico and as I've said before it is a little farming village here and um, there are donkeys around we've not saw any yet but we certainly can hear them and hopefully we will see some. We'll, we'll ask our hosts actually where we can get to go and look at them. And Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa is a conservation area. It is basically, you know, like a one street town, a one street village, but it does have lots of cafes and shops in it. Um, and people from all surrounding areas do come to it, and local Mexicans do come to it. So it's a conservation area, it has its own website. You see the mountains there in the distance. And today is Sunday, so we have lots of little market stalls out today. <clears throat> and I was just thinking last night I would love to buy a plant for a host and hostess. And there we are, there's a plant stall there today. This was the notice I was looking for. So as I say, it is a conservation area. <clears throat> and there are some places open today that haven't been open during the week. Today is Sunday, as I said. And um, there, there are little market stalls all through the week, but there's a few more today. Here's another poster of, of the animals in the area. Squirrels, deer, armadillo, lynx. Well, I would love to see one of them. And I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a kind of meerkat, kind of raccoon. Um, Pine Martin, yeah, beautiful tail. We haven't been right up in the mountains or into, or, or, or you know, been along any of the walks yet. It would be lovely to do that. Amazing to see a lynx. Probably quite rare though, I'd imagine they're quite shy and stay away in the trees. As you can imagine, there are lots of cacti. And, um, we saw a man earlier there at the fruit and veg stall. He had a cacti and he was shaving off the needles. And you can actually cook that, fry it, have it with breakfast or have it on a salad roll, which we, we've had it and it's tasty. So obviously the town does stretch a little bit further up there, up into the hills and where all the wild animals are. 
it's getting hot now so we're not going to tackle that today <laughs> obviously the locals are used to it and they, they've already marched up the street ahead of us um, the jacaranda trees are in bloom now the purple tree there in the distance in someone's garden and we'll probably see more of them when we get back to Mexico City yes you can see the three quite well. Yep. So, as I say, it is like a one street town, but it's very, very popular with Mexicans all around the area. Um, they come here to relax, obviously go up the reservoir, you can um, go up there. Uh, the, our host and hostess take their dogs up there and they jump in the water and have fun, you know, so there's a lady waving at us. Hey, stop this. Hola. And that's just typical of the people, they're friendly. Um, it's not a case of, you know, they're maybe not very friendly because we're whiteies. Whiteies. <laughs> uh, Non-Mexicans, it's not like that, they're actually very friendly. You say hello to anyone, they say hello back to you. Outside one of the churches here and Paul was saying he wondered if there was something special about today. There was more people about today, more cars. And right enough, uh, we found a notice that said there was a, a procession today at 10.30 this morning. So that would explain the much more folks about and uh, all the market stalls and all the more food stalls than, than usual here. This area wasn't opened during the week. Um, obviously it's open today because of the extra activities, festivities that are on today. Yeah, so that's about the third or fourth beach buggy we've noticed today, so um, maybe there was some kind of race on. Oh, hurry up, call crows and chickens. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. <gasps> oh. <laughs> These are probably the guys we hear in the morning. Because they're just a few, a few blocks along from our, our uh, home.